the Hinville show does a good job of focusing on the builders and putting their effort and their work on a pedestal. And there was so much work that was being done kind of by hand in a garage and there just needed to be a place where that could all be brought together and everyone could appreciate all this hard work and effort that goes into a fairly unknown craft and trade. We wanted to, to have a motorcycle event that closely mirrored the kind of event we wanted to go to. And then also to get an engagement with people that have no idea about motorcycles. We really want to infect others with our motorcycle disease. Austin's such a cool town. It's got so much art going on and so much energy when you're just out and about. It's still kind of got that grassroots vibe. It's about the entire community and it's about this kind of revitalization of working with your hands and doing quality work just for the pure satisfaction of doing quality work. If you're trying to blaze your own trail and do your own thing and come up with your own stuff, then you're on the right path. It comes down to passion, design, fabrication. The turnout is unbelievable. There's a line around the building all night. We've had some really good reactions and uh, really positive feedback from people. The Wall of Death was a great idea. You can feel it, you can hear it. You can smell it, you can taste it. The whole, the whole structure is shaking and it really does assault like all five senses. So Rebel Yell is a great partner for us with the Handbuilt Show because they understand that you don't get new results and you don't make any waves by just doing the same old thing over and over again. Rebel Yell understands that, so they are happy to support us and then basically leave us alone to do what we want to do so that we can follow our rebel spirit. Yeah.